Hey guys, Marmalade here with Marmalade's Backpacking and Camping Cuisine. And uh, welcome to another recipe idea. This one's actually for on the trail. Not You could make it car camping, I guess, but this is mostly uh, something to kind of fancy up one of the biggest staples on trail, which is ramen. This is called the Garlic Parmesan Ramen. So it's not a lot to it, but uh, let's go through the steps and it'll just kind of fancy it up a little bit for you instead of having the same old ramen every night. The ingredients we'll be using today are as follows. You can pretty much see them, but olive oil, um, ramen chicken flavor, uh, frozen mixed vegetables. Uh, I have a mushroom there and a green onion. And then also have some um, par Parmesan cheese, onion powder, parsley, and garlic powder as well. So that's what we'll start with. Your next step is to take a couple minutes and finally dice up this green onion. I even like to dice a little bit of the other end of it, the green part, like kind of like chives. Then, of course, next you'll do this mushroom and, and finally chop that up. Of course, you can add or subtract things too. All right, your next step is to add the seasoning. So you want to add, for one serving of ramen, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, eighth of a teaspoon of onion powder, a tablespoon of parsley, and a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. And you can also add uh, pepper or salt if you want, but ramen has so much salt, I, I didn't add any in this case. And then, of course, as I said, if you're backpacking, and you can make these uh, pre-make these for each serving in a little Ziploc bag so it's ready to go when you, when you uh, prepare your meal. Next, of course, is to boil a couple cups of water. These are the frozen vegetables I chose this time. While you're waiting for the water to boil, it's good to get your ramen and break it up into small pieces. It's just easier or faster to cook and easier to eat so you don't have those long strands. All right, let's try this out and see if it's edible. Uh, it seems like it's produced about 25% more food or volume than uh, when you just do a normal ramen on trail. It looks like it's fully cooked now. Yeah, that boiling water also softened up the mushrooms a little bit. Remember, I have mushrooms and a green onion, right? If we're talking in the outback or like somewhere in the wilderness, you're not going to always have that <clears throat> unless you can find some uh, wild uh, green onions, you know, in the Sierras. But I'm talking more like if you're going to do it on a five day stretch, you can bring some of the stuff out with you first day on the trail. Like a lot of people bring avocados, uh, fruit, things like that. Not for this necessarily, but fruit. But you can bring onions and mushrooms and things like that. Um, let me just try this one more time. I want to get a little bit more of this. It's tasting really good, by the way. All those, uh, the, the onion and the cheese and all that is very subtle but good. It just gives it a little more spice. Um, Uh, also, you know, I thought it would be good for this is spinach. If you want to bring spinach out on the trail, it'll last probably three or four days if you keep it packed in your uh, in your pack uh, and keep it cool. But uh, I have a list of a, a few more things you could throw in here besides what I just showed you. Just some ideas uh, when you're trying to spice up. Remember on these, uh, all the spices part of this, the Parmesan, the parsley, the onion, and the uh, garlic powder, you can put that in a small little snack size Ziploc and just keep it separate. It's light and small and just add it to your... Um, when you actually cook, you don't have to put it in there together ahead of time. But uh, yeah, I have some of these. Let's see. Um, how about I put spinach? How about hard-boiled eggs? Um, hot sauce you can use. Maybe butter, things like that. Um, uh, meat, cheese, onions, chives, things like that. Uh, anything else? Red crushed pepper, rosemary, and then all, of course of what I've already used here. So there's lots of ideas uh, just to kind of spice up ramen. I buy the two and a half ounce little uh, pieces of, it's like a little foil packet of chunk, white chunk chicken. I like to have this on trail and just put one of those in there. It's small and light, but it gives you calories and just spices it up and gives you a little more to eat. I find that just one uh, ramen by itself on trail for dinner is not enough. So anyway, I think you I got some good ideas, or I hope at least, and uh, tell me what you think. Uh, what else do you think you could add to this that you would like? Um, and what else do you like on trail too? If you can think of some other things you'd like to have me make that uh, interest you on trail and maybe enhance it a little bit, let me know down below in the description box. 
And uh, as always, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that helps me a lot, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified every time I post a new video. Um, really growing the channel now, and it's, those things are all free, so please do that if you haven't already. And uh, if you enjoyed this content, look down in the description box below. There's ways to support the channel. If you like this content, it'll help me um, work less and do this more and bring more to you. So that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, we'll definitely see you down the trail.